Hi students, welcome back again to another episode of learning. For today's video, pag-aaralan natin ang illustrating probability of independent and dependent events. Let us first compare mutually and not mutually exclusive versus independent and dependent events. So dito sa left side, meron akong example ng mutually and not mutually exclusive. Dito naman sa right side is independent and dependent events. So ano ba yung key difference ng dalawang ito? So meron ako dito ang hinighlight na uh, words, uh, a paper or a paper or dito naman is two papers and and two papers and. So ang mutually and not mutually exclusive events, uh, ito yung napag-aralan na natin sa previous lesson. So kapag mutually exclusive, uh, wala silang common point. Kapag not mutually exclusive, sila ay may common point. So, dito sa dalawang ito, ano rito yung uh, mutually exclusive at not mutually exclusive? So, a paper is to be drawn at random from papers numbered 1 to 25. What is the probability that it is either less than 5 or greater than 10? So, this one is an example of a mutually exclusive event dahil wala silang common point. Siyempre, wala naman tayong uh, number na, na less than 5 and at the same time greater than 10. Okay, so itong number 2, this is a not mutually exclusive event because sinatanong na probability dito is uh, that the paper is either even or a multiple of 5. Kasi meron tayong even and at the same time multiple of 5 like 10 and 20. Dahil sa mutually and not mutually exclusive, ang kinukuha natin sa, sa sample space natin is only 1. Okay, katulad nito. A paper is to be drawn at random. Dito rin sa number 2, a paper is to be drawn at random. Ibig sabihin niyan, isa lang ang kukunin sa ating sample space. Okay? Samantala, dito sa independent and dependent events, ang kinukuha natin sa sample space is 2 or more. Okay? So, 2 papers are to be drawn at random. Dito rin is 2 papers are to be drawn at random. Okay? So, ano pa yung uh, key difference ng dalawa? Dito sa questioning, so what is the probability that it is either less than 5 or greater than 10? So dito nakalagay yung characteristic kung ano ba yung uh, isang uh, item na iyon na kinuha natin sa sample space. Is it either less than 5 or greater than 10? So the word or distinguish mutually and not mutually exclusive events from independent and dependent events. Okay, the word or. Katulad dito. What is the probability that it is either even or a multiple of 5? Kasi nga kapag nagkahalo-halo na yung problems on probability, kailangan talaga nating alamin kung ano yung mutually exclusive, not mutually dependent and independent events. Now, dito naman sa independent and dependent events, katulad na sinabi ko kanina, two or more uh, items or samples are taken from the sample space. Okay, pwedeng two papers, pwedeng three papers, four, and so on. What is the probability that one is even and the other is odd? Ang isa pa sa pwede nating ang maging palatandaan dito is the word end. Okay? The word end. So, hindi lang basta word na end kasi may iba-iba pang words tayo na makakapag-distinguish ng independent at dependent events from mutually and not mutually exclusive events. Basta itong word na end for dependent and independent, ang word na or is for Mutually and not mutually exclusive events. So, kapag mutually at not mutually exclusive, isa lang ang kinukuha sa sample natin. Dito lang sa question is yung characteristic noong sample na iyon. Okay? Samantala, dito sa dependent at independent events, two or more are taken from the sample space. Now, let's have the difference between independent and dependent events. Okay? So, gamitin natin yung example kanina. Two numbers are to be drawn at random from papers numbered 1 to 25 with replacement. What is the probability that one is even and the other is odd? So, meron ako i-highlight dito na word which is this uh, word replacement. Okay, so ano ibig sabihin ng replacement? Ibig sabihin yan kapag kumuha ka ng isa, uh, ibabalik mo siya bago ka kumuha ng isa pa. Okay? Samantala, dito sa pangalawang example, Two papers are to be drawn simultaneously at random from papers numbered 1 to 25. What is the probability that one is even and the other is odd? Ano ibig sabihin ng drawn simultaneously? Kapag sinabi natin drawn simultaneously, 
This means in succession ng ating pagbunot without putting back the first one that we take. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, pag bumunot ka ng isa, bubunot ka ulit ng pangalawa na hindi mo ibinalik yung isa. So, ang number one, that is an independent event. Okay? Itong number two, this is a dependent event. So, anong pinagkaiba ng independent sa dependent event? So, kapag independent event, hindi naaapektuhan yung sample size natin kapag kumuha tayo ng pangalawa or pangatlo pa na items. Okay? Katulad dito sa number one. Dahil nga, nung bumuno tayo ng isa, ibinalik natin siya. Kaya, pag bumuno tayo ng pangalawa, hindi naapektuhan yung dami. Okay? 25 pa rin yun. Kasi nga, binalik natin. Next, kapag dito naman sa number two, Uh, since succession yung ating pagbunot simultaneous, kapag bumunot ka ng isa, syempre yung 25 na numbers na nasa lagayan is magiging 24 na lang kapag bumunot ka pa ng isa. Okay? So, that means naapektuhan yung dami ng ating sample space. So, again, kapag sinabi natin independent event, hindi maapektuhan yung dami ng ating sample space. Kapag ka naman uh, dependent, maapektuhan yung dami ng ating sample space. Okay? So, that means, dependent yung pangalawa mong bubunutin dun sa una kasi nga, naapektuhan yung dami. Let's have the next example. Ano kaya rito ang independent at dependent event? Okay? So, number one, two microchips are to be tested out of 15 microchips, six of which are effective. What is the probability that the first is effective while the second is not? Number two, When three dice are rolled together, what is the probability that all dice shows an even number? So, itong mga hinighlight ko na word, yung palatandaan natin for dependent and independent events, kapag ka both, ito ginagamit natin kapag dalawa lamang yung uh, event natin. Okay? So, itong number one sa microchip natin is dependent ito. Okay, so bakit siya dependent? Kasi nga, kapag uh, kumuha tayo ng dalawang microchip doon na itetest out of 15 microchips, kapag na-test na natin yung isa, that's say effective siya, hindi na natin siya ibabalik and then kukuha tayo ng isa. Siyempre, kapag hindi natin siya ibalik, uh, maaapektuhan na yung bilang ng microchips kapag kumuha pa tayo ng isa. Okay, so dahil dyan, uh, naapektuhan yung bilang, kaya ito ay dependent events. Okay, next number two, ito namang example number 2, this is an independent event. Okay, so bakit siya independent? Siyempre, meron kang tatlong die na nairoll at kapag nairoll mo siya, hindi naman maapektuhan yung faces niya. Okay, kasi iroroll mo lang naman siya. Kapag nagroll ka ng die, still, yung faces niya is tiga-anim pa rin. Okay? Let's have the next example. A bag of jelly beans contains 10 red, 6 green, 7 yellow, and 5 orange jelly beans. If a jelly bean is drawn, replaced before drawing the second jelly bean, what is the probability that both are green? A bag of jelly beans contains 7 red, 5 green, 3 yellow, and 5 orange jelly beans. If a jelly bean is drawn, eaten before drawing the second jelly bean, what is the probability that one is red and the other is yellow? Yung number one, this is an example of independent event. Okay, so bakit? Dahil meron tayong word dito na replaced. That means, ibinalik siya bago bumunot ng pangalawa. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, hindi naapektuhan yung dami ng jelly bean sa pagbunot ng pangalawang jelly bean. Samantala, dito sa number 2, this is an example of dependent event. Bakit? Dahil dito sa word na eaten. Siyempre, kapag bumunot ka ng isang jelly bean, kinain mo, hindi mo na siya maibabalik bago ka bumunot ng pangalawang jelly bean. So, ibig sabihin, naapektuhan yung dami ng jelly bean sa pagbunot mo ng pangalawang jelly bean. Now, ano yung mga important formula na ating gagamitin dito? So, for independent event, probability of A intersection B is equal to probability of A times probability of B or yung intersection pwede nating palitan ng word na end. Okay? So, take note na uh, event A must come first before event B. They are not interchangeable here. Okay? So, kung inuna natin yung event B dun sa event A, then event B must come first before A. Okay, so, iyan yung tatandaan natin sa word problem. So, next, depend, dependent event. Probability of A intersection B is equal to probability of A times probability of B given that A has already occurred. Okay? Or, 
Ah, pwede rin ganito, yung intersection, papalitan natin ng word na end. So, katulad sa independent event, A and B here are not interchangeable. Kung ano yung inuna natin dito na event, kailangan dun sa tinatanong is, event A must come first before event B. So, pinakaiba lang nitong dalawa is itong part na ito. Okay, bakit meron ito? Kasi nga, this is probability of B given that A has already occurred. Ibig sabihin niyan is naapektuhan yung B lang ng samples after A has been drawn. Let's have an example. Two papers are to be drawn at random from papers numbered 1 to 25 with replacement. What is the probability that Okay, meron tayo rito ang mga tinatanong. Alamin muna natin kung ito ba ay dependent or independent. So, meron tayo rito ang word na replacement. So, that means ibabalik yung papel pagkabunot ng isa. Ito ay isang independent event. Okay? Take note of this. Ginagamit natin yung formula na iyon kapag ang ating events ay walang common elements. Kasi nga kapag may common elements sila, yung common elements na lamang ang ating kukunin doon. Okay? So, uh, i-separate muna natin ang condition na iyon basta yung events A and B have no common elements. Okay? So, for uh, event E or even, uh, we have 2, 4, 6, 8 hanggang 24 kapag ka naman add 1, 3, 5, 7 hanggang 25. Events E and O have no common elements kasi nga wala naman tayong even and at the same time na add. Okay, dito, the first is even and the second is add. So, dito kailangan ng una raw ay even at saka ang pangalawa naman ay add. So, that means probability of even intersection add is equal to probability of E times probability of O. So, itong formula ang ginamit natin kasi nga ito ay independent event. Okay, is equal to ang even natin sa 1 to 25 ay 12. So, 12 over 25 times ang add naman is 13 over 25. Kung mapapansin nyo, pareho ang denominator natin kasi nga ito ay independent. Hindi na bago yung ating samples or sample space. Since wala naman tayong makakancel, we just multiply 12 times 13 is 156, 25 times 25 is 625. So, 156 over 25 is the answer or pwede mo rin siyang i-change as decimals or percent. Next, letter B. The first is odd and the second is even. So, una naman daw ang odd, pangalawa ang even. So, probability of odd intersection even is equal to probability of O times probability of E. So, since commutative naman ito, uh, we have here 13 over 25 times 12 over 25, kaya ang sagot pa rin natin dito is 156 over 625. Next, letter C. One is even and the other is add. Hindi in-specify dito kung ang una ba ay even or ang una ba ay add. So, ibig sabihin, pwedeng even ang una, pwede ring add. So, we have here probability of even intersection add wherein even comes first plus probability of Add, intersection even, wherein add comes first. Okay, kasi nga ang condition dito is 1 is even at saka naman yung isa ay add. Is equal to, bakit tayo rito may times 2? Siyempre, ang probability ng dalawang ito kapag pinagbaligtad mo is pareho lang din naman. Kaya, 2 times probability of even times probability of add. Okay, pareho lang makukuha sagot natin dyan kapag na-plus natin itong dalawa. So, we have here 2 times 12 over 25 times 13 over 25 is equal to 312 over 625. Letter D, both are even. So, probability of even intersection even is equal to probability of even times probability of even is equal to uh, ang even natin is 12 over total is 25 times 12 ang even over 25 is equal to 144 over 625. So, wala naman tayong makakancel, kaya ito na yung ating final answer. Letter E, neither is even. Ibig sabihin, uh, hindi raw even yung dalawa nating makukuha. So, that means probability of E complement intersection E complement. Ang ibig sabihin nitong E complement, ibig sabihin not even. Probability of not even intersection not even is equal to probability of not even times probability of not even. Okay? Is equal to. So, kung ang even ay 12, syempre ang not even is 13. I-minus lang natin yung 12 dun sa 25. So, 13 over 25 times 13 over 25 is equal to 169 over 625. Okay, next example. 
two papers are to be drawn simultaneously at random from papers numbered 1 to 25. What is the probability that... Okay, so ito yung ating tinatanong. So, we have here an example of dependent event naman. Okay, bakit dependent? Kasi nga, uh, idodraw sila simultaneously. Okay, in succession. Let's answer the first one. The first is odd and the second is even. So, odd comes first before even. So, probability of odd intersection even is equal to probability of odd times probability of even given that odd has already occurred. Okay, so ito yung gagamitin nating formula dahil ito ay dependent event. So probability of add is 13 over 25 kasi meron tayong 13 na add numbers. Okay, times 12 ang ating even numbers over 24. So bakit naging 24 na lamang ito? Kasi nga naapektuhan yung dami. Okay, pagbunot natin ng isa kasi nga hindi natin siya ibabalik kaya 24 na lamang ito. Okay, nating masimplify ang 12 at 24. So, we have here 13 over 25 times uh, 12 over 24 will become 1 half. And then multiply 13 times 1 is 13, 25 times 2 is 50. Next letter B, the first is even and the second is odd. So, ang una naman daw ay even and then add yung pangalawa. Is equal to probability of even times probability of odd even that even has already occurred. So, ang even natin is 12 over 25 times ang Add natin is 13 over 24 na lamang kasi naapektuhan yung bilang. This is a dependent event. So, pwede tayong mag-cancel dito ng 12 at saka 24 magiging 1 at 2 siya. Okay? So, this will become 1 over 25 times 13 over 2 is equal to 13 over 50. Okay? So, pareho lang siya nung letter A. Next letter C. One is even and the other is Add. So, dito hindi naka-specify kung ano yung mauuna. Either even or add ang mauna. So, that means probability of even intersection add, una yung even. Plus probability of add intersection even, una naman yung add. Is equal to 2 times probability of even times probability of add uh, given that even has already occurred. So, bakit tayo nag-times na lang dito sa 2? Kasi nga, ang probability ng dalawang ito ay pareho lamang. Okay, so 2 times 12 over 25 times 13 over 24 is equal to 2 times 1 over 25 times 13 over 2 is equal to 13 over 25. Since ang sagot natin kanina is 13 over 50, kapag na-times mo siya sa 2, magiging 13 over 25 siya. Letter D, both are odd. So, probability of odd intersection odd is equal to probability of odd times probability of odd given that odd has already occurred. Okay, so ang add numbers natin ay 13 out of 25 times. So ang add natin is 12 na lamang. So bakit naging 12 na lamang? Kasi nga, nabunot na natin yung isa na add. Okay, kaya 13 magiging 12 na lamang siya. At bakit nabawasan din yung denominator? Siyempre, 25 iyon, mababawasan ng isa, kaya magiging 24 na lamang din. Okay, so 13 over 25 times yung 12 over 24 ay magiging 1 half is equal to 13 over 50. Next letter E, neither is add. So, probability of add uh, complement intersection of add complement is equal to probability of add complement not add number is 12. Siyempre, ang add number natin ay 13, kaya ang complement niya is 12. Okay, so 12 over 25 times, uh, since pareho lang din ito, kaya ang 12 magiging 11 at ang 25 ay magiging 24. Okay, halos pareho lang siya nung uh, letter D natin. Okay, so itong 12 at 24, pwede tayong mag-cancellation dito, magiging 1 at saka 2 siya. So, 1 times 11 is equal to 11, 25 times 2 is equal to 50. So, that's it for today's lesson. I hope you learn a lot. Thank you and have a nice day. Goodbye!